What is going on guys, Noah Brewer here, back again with another banger of a video, and today we're gonna to be talking about how you can get endless winning products with a very minimal amount of effort by building a product research team that allows you to essentially get good products handed to you and you don't have to worry about scrolling through AliExpress or scrolling through TikTok anymore. So in this video, we're gonna go about how I go about building a product research team, some of the mindsets that you need to have going into it to get the best results. We're also gonna be talking about the type of training that you should give your product research how you should be reviewing their lists and I'm also gonna be going into what this strategy has allowed me to do in terms of product research and just finding a fuckload of products to test with very minimal amounts of my own time by leveraging other people such as VAs and other employees to get product research done so if you don't know why I'm making this video it's because I actually made this tweet I'll show a screenshot of it on the screen right there and I said why does nobody want to see like really valuable videos they want to see 24-hour challenges and stuff and the example that I gave was like a product research video on how to build a product research team and get endless amounts of products to test. Anyways, the tweet blew up and a bunch of people were asking me and telling me that I should actually make a video on how to hire product research teams. So here I am. So for you guys out there that are actually running e-com and you're not just here for the entertainment aspect of e-commerce and you actually want to learn, this is a very valuable skill that I've picked up, obviously through running my agency and mass volume testing, you know, upwards of 100 products a week at some points. And this is the strategy that has allowed me to do that. So let's quit all the delays and get right into it. All right, let's get into how I'm actually able to do buckloads of product research and essentially have it take none of my time. And the answer, hiring VAs. I mean, obviously you could have guessed it. It's essentially getting other people to do the hard work for you. And what do I mean when I say the hard work? Well, I'm not talking about having them, you know, hand you products to test. I'm literally just talking about having them put products in a Google sheet so that you can go review them. Because in my opinion, it's a hell of a lot easier to scroll through a Google sheet and kind of skim through products than it is to sit there for hours on AliExpress and TikTok and basically just go through TikToks and AliExpress. In my opinion, it's a lot quicker um, and obviously in my experience. So step number one is to essentially systemize your research, you know, figure out what criteria you want them to follow, what are your rules for product research, how you actually do it, you know, basically figure out all those things and then make a basic training video, which we'll get into all these things more specifically as a part of this video, but this is the overall process. Next step is to hire them and then you essentially just review the products they bring you and boom, endless amounts of winning products that you can test. So let's talk about the traditional way to do product research or the way that most of you are probably doing it right now. Obviously, probably scrolling through AliExpress, uh, scrolling through TikTok, or using a service like PP Ads or something, and you're basically just looking for products that you think are good and you know manually moving them over into a Google Sheet. The best thing about this strategy is you might find something out there that you think is great that maybe a VA or one of your employees is not gonna think is good and they're not gonna put it on their sheet. So you may have some missed opportunities. This way, you're literally on the front line scrolling through Alley and looking at you know these advertisements or whatever strategy you're following uh, and you're able to pick up on every opportunity that you think is worth doing and that's really the only benefit to actually doing product research yourself I don't see many other benefits as opposed to uh, hiring a VA and hiring a team to do it for you now if you're somebody who's not doing a whole lot of product research at all or if you want to see the specific ways that I do product research and also the ways that I recommend that my VAs do product research let me know because I'm thinking about making a video on the top two ways to find products uh, for TikTok ads right now. Um, so if you want to see that, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. So one of the biggest questions is how do I train a VA to actually find good winning products? And the answer is basically you don't. Now what I mean by that is you're not hiring these VAs with the goal of having them choose which products you're going to test and which ones you're not. You're literally hiring them to go out to these platforms like AliExpress, TikTok, whatever your strategy is, find products and put them in a Google sheet. That way you can be the one that reviews the product list and decides what you want to test. What I'm saying is that scrolling through a sheet is much, much, much quicker than actually going on the platforms and doing the research yourself. AKA, we all only have so much time in a day. And honestly, even if I had all the time in the world, I wouldn't want to spend it scrolling through AliExpress. So this allows you to allow other people to spend, you know, eight hours a day or whatever to put products into your product list. And then you can literally just review it and it's all already organized nice and nicely uh, and you can just scroll through skim through it pick out the ones that you like and test the ones that you like because we're not letting VAs choose which ones
ones we're testing, we're literally just using the VAs to make the process easier, simpler, and faster for us. With the training, you're guaranteed to only see products that meet your base level criteria. More on this in a little bit. And for added efficiency, you can also have them come up with a name for the products so that you're not just looking at a list of links and you're actually looking at a list of product names with the links next to them. Um, that way you can literally just skim through the product names and if you see something that you're slightly interested in, you can investigate further. This literally allows me to skim through like 50 to 100 products in like 10 minutes and pick out the ones that interest me and then I can click the links and the ads uh, next to those products and actually look further and see what I can find. So let's talk about the results of hiring VAs and employees in this fashion and kind of what the benefits are and why I think you should be doing it. So normally if I'm scrolling through AliExpress or TikTok, I'll have to sit there and scroll through hundreds of products which usually takes me about an hour for every single product that I find that I personally think is worth testing. I'm going to find it a lot more difficult to find new things that actually excite me. So maybe it only takes you 20, 30 minutes to find a product like me personally. If I'm out there scrolling on TikTok or AliExpress, it takes me about an hour. So keeping that in mind, when I have a VA bring me a list of let's say 100 products and I scroll through that list, it maybe takes me 10 to 15 minutes and I always walk away with at least one or two good products that I think are 100% worth testing. So pretty much as opposed to going on the platforms myself and spending hours and hours and hours just to get a few good products, I can hire a VA to work like an eight hour shift, cost me like 25, 30 bucks, and then spend like 10 to 15 minutes going through that list and then find like one to two, like honestly, normally it's like around two, uh, good products that I think are worth testing. So this saves me a massive amount of time. Um, and obviously it's not that expensive. You know, VAs are, they don't really cost that much money to get up and running. Most VAs that I found in my experience usually find about 20 to 50 products uh, during an eight hour shift. So they'll actually add 20 to 50 products, sometimes more, sometimes less. It really depends on who it is. That's why you gotta test out a few. Um, and the success rate that I see is if I'm doing product research for Facebook, usually like one out of 50 to one out of 70, I would say uh, products that a VA will bring me, I'll actually think are worth testing. And then for TikTok, it's a little bit less because I'm a little bit less strict over there. Obviously I've tested a lot less, um, probably one out of 25, maybe a little bit less like one out of 15, one out of 25. It just depends on how strict I'm feeling on that particular day, I guess. So let me give you a few pieces of advice for the actual training that you're gonna give your product research VAs and it might surprise you what I'm about to tell you. So essentially, I just make three videos. One video that's explaining the criteria and what I'm looking for. Basically, a couple examples is like, do you want products that are, you know, cost between 10 and $20? Do you want products that are in the pet niche, kitchen niche, do you not care what niche it is? Uh, normally, I just say I want products that are between 20 and $60 and I don't care what niche it is. I'll also give them a list of niches to completely avoid such as the kitchen, pet, things like that, like niches that I really don't wanna see products in, I just tell them to avoid them entirely. Not everybody listens, not a big deal, I don't really care. Like I said, their work is cheap and you know you kinda get what you pay for, um, it's a volume game. The next video I make is how to actually find the products. So is your strategy to go on AliExpress and scroll? Is your strategy to scroll through uh, TikTok? You know, are you going on PP ads? Are you, are you using uh, the Facebook ad library? Like what, what exactly are you doing to find the products and show them all the logistical things that they need to know uh, in order to actually go out and find products. And then the third video is how to actually take the products they find and insert them into your product list in the correct way. Make sure you're crystal clear on this because a lot of VAs seem to get confused if you don't spell this out very clear in the beginning. And believe it or not, in my experience, the less strict you are with your criteria and your requirements for the products, the better your results will be uh, because you can't really teach somebody who knows nothing about e-commerce how to find a winning product. Um, and in my opinion, it's pretty much just a numbers game. And it's better to accept that they're never truly gonna know what you're looking for and use them for the numbers game aspect of it rather than trying to get them to understand, you know, what makes a winning product and, and you know, the types of winning products that work. You know, don't even bother explaining explaining this shit to them, just give them a basic level of you know criteria and rules to follow because at the end of the day, you're gonna go through the list and you're the one deciding what you're actually gonna test and what you're not. So essentially, the easier the process, the less stricter criteria and rules and whatnot, um, the more output you're gonna get and in my experience, the more output you get, the higher chance there is that you're gonna find a good product inside of their list. 
So let me give you a few tips on actually hiring VAs or employees to do your product research. So obviously a lot of the success that I've had with VAs is from onlinejobs.ph. Now I will say that they do not really like this job position as it's kind of turn and burn. It's not really the kind of job where you're gonna find one person and just stick with them forever. Um, usually I'll use a VA for like a month, you know, maybe eight hours a week, something around those lines, maybe even full time, like eight hours a day. Um, but eventually, in my opinion, the VAs just stop finding good products after a certain point so I've been banned by online jobs multiple times uh, for hiring like literally hiring too many people is the reason I got banned by the way pretty stupid so just keep that in mind and also just be very very respectful to the workers on the platform and also the employees of the platform itself uh, because the workers on there are really really great they're very hard-working people and usually very polite you know make sure that you pay them on time make sure that your your communication is very clear and concise with them you know don't leave them on red respond to them as quickly as you can uh, and make sure that you pay them as quickly as you can as well be very very respectful I personally love the VAs on online jobs and they've made me a lot a lot of money and they perform a lot of great work so if you go to online jobs and you start disrespecting their VAs it's going to piss me off obviously be very very clear with the job description what you're going to be having them do you know say you're going to watch a training and then you're going to be scrolling through AliExpress and then you're going to be adding products to a Google sheet um, and that's basically the job description um, be very clear with how many hours you're going to want them to work um, us personally we initially hire them for a four hour test so this basically allows them to get a little bit of money in their pocket and it also allows us to see how they perform like on a quick four hours like we can kind of make a judgment like okay let's rehire this guy because they found like a good like 15 to 20 products uh, honestly I don't expect them to find a good product on the first round I more just want to see the way that they structure their list which we'll get into in a minute and the types of products that they're finding and obviously the volume that they're finding so if I hire them for a four hour shift and they come to me with five Five products I'm probably not going to rehire them or put them on a recurring higher basis um, but if they pass the four-hour shift test then you basically have to decide and you have to be clear about this up front how many hours you want them to work per week so full-time is probably eight hours a day for five days a week uh, anything below that I would just call it part-time uh, you can do one eight-hour shift a week you can do one hour a day you know it really depends on what you prefer and I don't think that there's any good or bad way I would prefer to get one eight-hour shift per week than uh, one hour a day for a full week though. Uh, in my opinion, it's better if they sit down for eight hours and just fully focus on the product research, um, but that's just the way that I like to operate my systems. So let's talk about the actual product list real quick. Um, just keep it simple. Um, so basically the columns inside of the Google Sheet that I set up are product name, AliExpress link, and TikTok link, or if you're doing Facebook ads, it would be a Facebook ad link if they have one, uh, maybe your competitor or whatever. Whatever your process is, use it. One thing that I do wanna say is that if you don't need the AliExpress link and you're willing to go and source the product yourself, don't ask for it because it's gonna take up valuable time uh, of your employee where they could be searching for more products and instead they're trying to source this product on AliExpress. So if you don't need the Ali link, literally just leave it out and don't make them give it to you. Same thing goes for the ad. If you're doing Facebook ads and you're not repurposing content at all really, uh, you don't really need to see the ad for the products. You can just look at the AliExpress listings and if you wanna find your competitor's ads, you can just do that later on uh, when you pick out which products you actually wanna test. And I know a lot of you guys like to put a lot of fancy data like cost and, and sell price and shipping times and and all this crazy stuff inside of your product list leave it out of your VAs like do not give control of these aspects to your VAs and do it later on once you actually have good products to test and honestly do it yourself because you want the VA's job to be very efficient and very easy for them to complete or else you're gonna get bad results. You want them to be efficient and bring you as many products as possible that meet your criteria. You don't want them spending their time figuring out what shipping times are and figuring out who the top three competitors are and all this crazy nonsense. You really just want them finding you the product name and the AliExpress link and maybe the advertisement that goes along with it if that's what you would prefer. And yeah, I mean, for the right person, this video is gonna be very, very valuable. And obviously it took a learning curve to be able to test this amount of products, but these are the exact strategies and pretty much the exact things that I do uh, to be able to test like over 200 products per week at my agency's peak. We were testing about two products per week for about 100 clients and obviously not every uh, client was testing. A lot of them were scaling as well, but you know, just a rough estimate, probably like 150 product tests a week. We require a lot of fucking product research and at our peak, we had five to 10 VAs literally doing full time, like eight hours a day uh, at all times. And obviously we were constantly hiring new ones and letting old ones go um, just to keep the list fresh and whatever. Um, I also had a list reviewer between the VA list and between my list. 
So obviously that's a lot of fucking products to go through. So I had somebody on my team review the VA sheets and then only give me what they approved of. So they had a little bit stricter criteria. You know, we talked earlier about not being too strict with the VAs and kind of just giving them free reign. Well, I put somebody in between me and the VA. So to kind of take it a step further, uh, when you're reviewing thousands of products, you kind of have to do something like that. And we got it down to where I could literally spend 30 minutes in my end list and probably find like three to four good products. And obviously the end list, like the funnel is insane. Like we would get a thousand products on the front end. And then at the end of it, maybe be left with like 50 to hundred pre-approved from my reviewer. And then I would pick out maybe five, like three to five, somewhere around there. Um, so obviously like massive filtration system, but also maximum efficiency. And it allowed us to test a shitload of products. And I didn't really have to spend that much time doing product research. That was pretty much it for this video. If it was valuable for you, make sure to let me know in the comments section. There's a lot of things that I've learned. Obviously, Obviously, as a part of growing my agencies that, you know, in terms of like hiring people and building systems, like I have literally every single step of the drop shipping process automated from product research, store building, getting ad creatives. Obviously, I own viral ecom ads. Uh, you know, we basically mastered the ad creative program over there. Uh, but yeah, store building, product testing, you know, the ad buying, scaling, analyzing, customer support, fulfillment. We literally figured it all out. Um, I've had many, many employees in the e-commerce field. I know a whole lot about it. So if you guys want to see more content like this, smash the like button. For you guys out there that are actually trying to build really successful dropshipping stores or e-commerce businesses in general, I wanna make more videos for you guys, but sadly, they just don't get good views. Like it's not native to the YouTube platform. People come on here to waste time and get entertained and they don't wanna hear real shit that is gonna help them grow their business. But if you want it, let me know and I'll keep putting it out there. Um, but I hope this video is valuable for you. That's pretty much all I got today. This is Noah Brewer and I'm out. Peace.